Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You're watching Ben Living with Big B. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, today is a bit of a different one, but we're doing a bit of a cooking one. So uh, by special request from my friend Small Town Diver, um, I'm going to make for you butter chicken. Uh, butter chicken is an Indian dish. It's um, certainly well known around uh, New Zealand. And... Uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite dishes to make, and it's pretty easy, um, and yeah, we're just going to get right into it. So, anyway, um, butter chicken is pretty much two parts. There's a, the chicken masala, which is the marinated chicken, and the gravy itself, which is the buttery sauce the chicken goes into after. But, first things first, um, we're going to marinate the chicken. So... In a bowl here, I've got half a kilo, half a kilogram of chunky diced chicken thighs. Um, you can use breast fillets if you like. I like using thighs because um, there are just more moist, tender meat. Um, the uh, the breast can be um, can go get a bit overcooked sometimes if you if you don't watch it and be careful so that's what I've chosen so this here could easily feed three or four two couple of adults and a couple of kids half a kilo so yeah so the marinade we're gonna make the marinade for the chicken so first up we're gonna put in the dry ingredients Right here I've got ground ginger. You can probably get it at any spice rack in your local supermarket. I'm gonna put a couple of teaspoons full of that. Next we've got ground chili or chili powder. If you like spicy, then put in more. I like mine pretty mild, so I'm only putting in a teaspoon of that. Next, some salt. Just a little teaspoon of salt. And last, some garlic paste, or minced garlic, or crushed garlic. Give it that nice intense flavour. So just a teaspoon of that. So right, next we're going to mix it, mix it all about. smell those flavours already working oh yes also squeeze of half a lemon juice Sure to catch all those pips. Okay. So mix that in very well. going to add a touch more salt and just a 
touch more paper. Touch more chicken. There's quite a bit of chicken in here. Okay, so um, the next stage is we're going to put this in the fridge and let that marinade just um, infuse into the meat there for 15 minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, it's been 15 minutes. The uh, chicken has marinated and is coloured really, really well. Um, it smells amazing, the ginger, the garlic, and the chilli, and um, it looks tenderised uh, just through the lemon juice alone. So what we do now is we're going to put on a pan, and we're going to cook it off and brown it, um, just slightly cook it, because later on the chicken will go into a gravy, and where it will finish off its cooking. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so our pan is heating up quite nicely. I've only got it on a medium to low to medium heat for starters and we're gonna add our chicken pieces which are only cut to about I don't know maybe a half inch quarter inch dice size or whatever how chunky you like your chicken pieces but as long as they're cut evenly so then they cook evenly Gordon Ramsay likes to do his uh, do his clockwise. I do my anti-clockwise. Good old Gordo Ramsay. Don't mind this, we've got a couple of projects on the go here. I've got some um, brisket boiling in here for our boil up. <laughs> That's our dinner. Pretty good there. I first tried um, butter chicken in South Auckland in New Zealand. It's a real popular dish with the Polynesian people. And it blew my socks off, I have to say. So these pieces are browning off quite nicely. Oops. 
So I'll cook those through and I'll be right back. Okay, so the uh, chicken is ground off nicely, just half cooked the way through. So we're going to take that off the heat and put it aside into another bowl. All the juices go in there too. Okay. So uh, next we're going to put in some red onion. There's about half a medium sized red onion in here. We're going to chuck that straight in the pan. We're going to put in about 30 grams of butter. Oh, hook okay. Uh, traditionally they would put cashew nuts uh, in with this dish as well but I'm not really a fan and people out there got a lot of allergies so yeah I don't do it so um, as well as that we're going to wait for those onions to sweep through Got some butter to melt Another minute, all that butter helps that sweating process till the onions are soft and they don't have to be fine, they can be really coarse because eventually we're going to blend this into a smooth paste, a smooth gravy. So this is the gravy part. Okay, that looks pretty good. So uh, next thing we're going to add is four tomatoes that have been diced or sliced into like these size pieces like I say it won't matter because it's only going to get blended so we just chuck those all in like that I'm going to cook those down So going to add some 
garlic paste, teaspoon. Uh, we're also going to add a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of sugar. A drop of malt vinegar. Just a brown vinegar. A touch more. Oh boy. And uh, just a most another sprinkling of chili powder. And this is the ingredient here. Garam masala. And it's got an aniseed sort of a flavor to it, smell to it. It's not very, it's not strong, it's not hot spicy, but it's just part of the, so we're just gonna add one, two, three, four taps of these bad boys right there. Okay, we're gonna mix that all in together, nice. And then we're going to let that simmer on a low heat for 15 minutes until all it's soft, until it's all nice and soft. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and... Um 15 minutes later, our tomatoes have all softened and our sauce has reduced some, quite a bit. So the next step is we're going to uh, put that into this blender. We're going to blend it all up until it's a smooth paste. And then... We're going to pass it through a sieve into this bowl, so then we just end with a smooth, velvety sauce. Just another minute or two, just to get the... Looking very good. Okay, we'll be right back. So here we are, we're blending. Gonna give it another sort of taste of registration name of where we get our plant The Mandra Council. about it I think so yep so here we go we're going to strain it oh my gosh one handed is gonna be lots of fun but we will try our best guys 
so we got some background noise out there. My wife was calling on the phone. Tama, why ho? So we're just gonna. Not too sure whether my bowl is gonna be deep enough. Oh, yeah, no, it should be fine. Just gonna push all of it through. So we're just gonna push this through the sieve. That's exactly the colour I'm looking for. Push it all through. got left there is just seed and skin should be left with a smooth velvety sauce
taste test. Yummo. Okay, here's the next step. We're going to put that back into the same pan. Okay, the pan is on. It's going to add the sauce. Then we're going to add butter. Because it is butter chicken. Stir that around. Wait for that to melt. Then we're going to add some cream. A quarter of a cup. Gonna wait for that butter to melt through. Better check my other project. Oh, that's watercress, guys. Watercress. Yeah, just turn the heat up on that a little bit. So that butter, butter is just about melted through, and once it has, that's going to be just so smooth and it's thickening. Now we add our chicken. There, into there. Make it boom, boom. All those juices, that's all flavour. And then we just stir this chicken through. Heat it through, cook the chicken all the way through. So all that loveliness is uh, Let's give it a bit of a taste. Definitely not too hot. I thought with all that chili I put in there, it'd be really hot and um, and spicy, but it isn't. It's really, really mild. But you get a little, little bit of heat. You get the sweetness and the sour. That's in there. The tomato flavour is really coming through when it heats up. You'll get that nice buttery, um, the velvety taste coming through. That. Um, the aniseed of the garam masala and yeah we're just gonna let that simmer and come to the heat in about five minutes so right back yum so the uh, butter chicken has come to the heat it only needed a few minutes for the um, chicken to cook through properly and um, I'm going to 
turn it off. I'll take it off the heat now. And um, we're going to serve it up and have a and let's have a munch. Okay. Okay, so we're going to plate up. Plenty of chicken in there. Get some of that juice. Then uh, top it off with a little bit of cream. And right here, I've just got yeah. some fresh basil. Fresh basil. But you can use whatever herb you like. I just happen to have lots of basil. <laughs> There we have it, folks. We have got uh, butter chicken. So let's have a quick munch. So here we have it, the uh, butter chicken. Now it's time to chow down on it. Mmm. Chicken is so tender. Mum, try some of the butter chicken, my God. A little bit of heat from the um, chili, but not too much. The sauce is so smooth and the buttery and the cream sort of just like softens the heat. That aniseed flavor of the, um, the garam masala is just a hint like an aftertaste. Chicken is nice and tender, and um, I've never put sweet basil as a um, as a garnish on it before, but it's adding its own little dimension. Mm. So the whole process from start to finish takes about an hour. Um, when you practice it, it's a really, it's a real simple, easy dish. Good for those cold nights, and um, can be done all in one pot, pretty much. Oh, and. Some naan bread or some home baked bread it would be just beautiful just to mop up all of those juices. Mm. So, anyway, small town, there you go, butter chicken. I hope I didn't make um, a squash up of the video. Jingo's. Anyway, happy diving, happy cooking, glad you um, came in and watched the video, if cooking's not your thing, ah, just watch it.
watch another one of my videos. But yeah, these are the sort of things that I like to be doing on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you reckon. I know my uh, directing skills have a lot to be desired. But I can't help myself. This is so good. We'll see you guys on the next one.